good morning. I have a word for you. I want to talk to you about the spirit of Absalom. What is that? That is anyone that wants to gain your position, that wants to offer a service and do it in a way that they believe could be better than what you could do or offer. And Absalom was King David's son. And the Bible says he would stand in the gateway and as the people would come to await the king and the judgment, he would, you know, offer them, uh, you know, a kiss. He would flatter them. He would make a connection with them, identify with them in some way, form or shape so that he could win the hearts of that person. And so, child of God, you have to be careful because so many people can flatter you, but their motives are so wrong. We have to check the motives. And how do you do that? With the discernment of God. Because not everybody that comes in the name of the Lord, not everyone that pretends to be a friend is that. And this is why in these last days, it's so important that you know how to operate in the gift of discernment. God will give you the wisdom to know who is for you and who is just trying to flatter you to get your position. It's that competitive spirit. Instead of finding his own lane, instead of finding his own position, he wanted to take someone else's. And it was family. It was his father. So, child of God, you got to be careful because, you know, when that spirit falls upon a person, it does not discriminate between family, friend, foe, enemy. It just wants what it wants, okay? Hey, welcome to Wednesday, Wednesday Wisdom. The word that I want to warn you of today is beware of the spirit of Absalom. What is that? It is a very flattering spirit. It is a spirit that seeks to take the position that is given to God by another, but they want it for themselves. They tend to draw people to them through flattery. They flatter others, they make connections, they identify with them, and they win them over by telling them things that they want to hear. The spirit of flattery. And so with Absalom, he would stand at the gate. And as people would come in for, to receive judgment from King David, he would say, oh, if I were a king, I would do things this way. What is your issue? And he would tell the people what they wanted to hear. He would kiss them on the cheek. He would flatter them with their words, but his motives were not pure. His motives were to steal the position of King David, to win the hearts of those people so they would turn on King David and they would turn towards King Absalom. See, that's what the spirit of Absalom does. It wants to draw men away from the God-given person or leadership that they should be under and draw them to themselves. But the end is not good because the end is deception. They're deceiving these people with their words, okay? To win them over so that they can get the platform, so that they can get the position, that they want so child of god in this hour you have to walk in discernment god will give you the wisdom in order to know who is around you because not everybody that comes in the name of a friend is truly there to see you succeed to see you grow higher to see you win some of them are there to try to pull the platform from under your feet and we know that we are here to bring glory to the name of jesus not to ourselves, not to our own name, but the spirit of Absalom wants to draw people away from the name of Jesus and really they're drawing people unto themselves, whether they realize it or not, because they are seeking the glory. So I've come to warn you chosen ones, be careful of this spirit. The spirit of Absalom is one that is very sneaky and conning because it's so flattery. It is the definition of a fake friend. All right, guys, I love you. Uh, be safe. Enjoy the rest of the week. I pray that this word will be a blessing to you. And uh, take it to the Father to see how you should apply it in your day-to-day -day life. All right, guys, talk to you soon.